kitty. This is Aurora. Hi. We're so cute. If I could take you up in paradise of emotion. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to A Girl and Two Cats. I'm Julia, and today I am going to do a video called The First Time That I Blank Blank Blank. Um, I did a poll on Facebook and this is what the people wanted to see. Thank you to all those who voted. Y'all are awesome. But first, before I start the video, check out my new shirt. It says, let me pull back my hair. I enjoy naps, tacos, and my cat. And that's just about it. And that really summed me up as a, as a person. Um, let's get started. The first time that I went to the movies that I remember. Um, it was Toy Story 2, so that was about 1998 or 99, depending on when I saw it. Um, <laughs> the thing I remember the most about it is I ate a whole box of Junior Mints, and then I got really sick to my stomach afterwards, because that's kind of what's going to happen when you eat that. <laughs> eat a whole box of Junior Mints. The first time that I got an IV that I remember was when I was 8, and it was when I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And it's funny because I didn't cry and I got it in my hand, which is like one of the most sensitive spots like ever. Um, if any of you have ever had an IV, the hand, or even just getting your blood drawn hurts like heck in the hand. And no, I'm just sitting there like, oh, that's cool. I, I, I'm, I'm a weird person, okay? I, I've always been weird. The first time I got in trouble at school, huh, now we're getting down to the dirty business. Um, I say serious trouble at school. Um, I was in the third grade, and <laughs> um, there was this boy in my class, I'm not going to say any names, um, he kept on stepping on my toes. I was wearing sandals, and I was like, dude, stop. And he did, and I asked him several times, and I was just done with this dude. I was like, really? So I punched him in the stomach, and I made him cry. And I got his school suspension in the third grade. I mean, this dude, like, would not stop. Um, uh, update, though, I actually saw this guy recently. And I was like, hey, just wanted to let you know, I'm really sorry for punching you in the stomach in the third grade. And he was with his friend who, have, who went to school with us. He said, didn't you cry when she punched you in the stomach? Like, he threw that kid under the, he threw him under the bus. Like, I wasn't going to mention that I made you cry, but your friend did it, so sorry, pal. So sorry. First time that I ever performed on stage was when I was six years old. I was in dance classes. I took dance for eight years, and it was my first recital. I was in kindergarten. I um, was pretty excited about it. I actually have my first uh, dance outfit in my closet. <laughs> It's really hard to believe, like looking at it, how tiny I was. Um, I think it's like, whoa! I was that small at one point, like mind blowing. The first time I got a job was when I was um, 16. I was lacking a few weeks from being 17. Um, was at the movie theater. It was like the most ideal, perfect first job ever. I actually started. Um, it was Thanksgiving break. Um, I had already finished my GED, getting my GED. I had already graduated with it. Um, and so um, I was looking for, you know, work. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just apply here, you know, seasonal. Um, and I, st like I said, I started the week of Thanksgiving break. So it was already hectic from that. And it was on a Monday that I started that Friday before um, the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1 had just came out with uh, the one with... Bella and Edward's um, wedding and everything. So it was hectic, crazy. Um, and I really enjoyed it, but I like the craziness. Like the craziness does not bother me. Like when it's slow is when it bothers me. I start counting the tiles on the ceiling, um, that kind of thing. So if it's crazy busy, like it gives me such an adrenaline rush that I love it. <laughs> She's been back here this whole time just cleaning herself. The first time I stayed, <laughs> of the night by myself. Okay, this is actually kind of embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I, the first time that I stayed by myself overnight <laughs> was my first night into my new apartment when I was 18. 
Um, and I remember my mom telling me, okay, just don't freak out about every little sound. Um, you know, because you live in an apartment building, you don't live in a house anymore, so, you know, floors creak, things like that. And I just remember how quiet it was because I lived off of Main Street growing up, so I could hear the train, and there was no train going by my apartment when I lived in Fort Smith, so it was so quiet. It was weird. The first time I went, like, on an official date was, I was 18. Um, I went to Chili's. I love Chili's. I don't remember what I ate though, but it was really good. I remember it was the Chili's and uh, and Van Buren, and uh, I'm actually still friends with the person I I went with. The first time I tried hummus, um, I was 15. I was living in Batesville at the time. I was living at the uh, Arkansas Sharefew Three Inch Light Group Home Setting. And one of my house parents, Mandy, loves hummus. Like, she loves it. And I remember I had it with Sun Chips. And I can't remember, I, I want to say one time we made it homemade. I know one time we had, made, had it, like, out of the package. And we were either going to make homemade or we did make homemade. That was, like, a long time ago, y'all. And my memory, like, is terrible. That's when I fell for the leader of the pack. Alright, I'm about to tell y'all a story. So, my Aunt Joyce lives kind of off, a, off the highway. And to get down to her house, you'd go down to Gravel Road. Um, but to back out, to get onto the Gravel Road, to get on the highway, to get to wherever the heck you're going, um, it's really a really tight space. And I was like 16, whatever, and my mom was like, you know, she would sometimes let me like sit on her lap when I was younger. And I would like, you know, do the steering, whatever. Well, this is the first time I was like in control of like the pedals and everything. So this is like a pretty big deal to me. And yes, it was just down a little narrow row, which is not a big deal to some people. But if you went just a little bit too left, far to the left, or a little bit too far to the right, you were going to go in some deep ditches. And that would not have been good. So I was down, I was like I said, I was 16. Um, my mom was like, hey, do you want to like try to back it up, you know? And I was like nervous because like I said, it's a really, really tight space. And this is my first time behind the wheel. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna wreck. What, my mom, like she had faith in me. She's like, you got this, Shulia. And I'm like, <laughs> thanks mom, sure. And normally it takes like mm, five, anywhere from five to nine different turns to get out. And somehow I got it in like five or four or five different turns like just backing up because you'd have to go into reverse and then you'd have to put it into drive and then drive a little bit forward and it, it, like I can't really explain it without you actually being there Oliver come here come say don't knock the camera over again Jesus come say hi to everybody come here please dude you're gonna knock it over stop you're gonna knock my phone over no he just ran away like he's He's just being a little turd tonight. Come here. Come here. I got you. <laughs> Say hi. Mm, he's so big, you guys. Look at him. He's like so big. Like, ugh, hang on. Ugh. Oh, I can hold him like a baby. Oh. Rock a bye, baby. On the treetops. His eyes just crossed, yo. <laughs> Am I making you dizzy? Okay, well, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, once again, thank you to all the peop awesome people who voted on Facebook for this video. Uh, tune in next week, and I'll have some more awesome content for you guys. In the meantime, peace, love, cats. Meow, love you. Bye.